Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show uh, this Friday, 17th of November at 7 o'clock a.m. CT. Uh, SpaceX will be launching their Starship Super Heavy rocket from Boca Chica Star Base, Texas. And there's a little bit more information that I want to share with you before that launch happens, um, just because there's just so much stuff going on down at Starbase right now. And they're prepping the base systems, uh, they're prepping the rocket, they're prepping the whole facility, they're prepping the people. Um, this, is a, this is a big deal. Uh, the sheriff's department has to be down there. There's infrastructure that has to go on, um, you know, uh, on notice for the next 24 hours because we're less than 24 hours away from the launch, which is incredible, which is absolutely incredible. But there are a few things that happened today and last night that I just wanted to like, bring up with you guys so you can know what's going on. So the first thing that I want to talk about. There's a new TFR for Sunday. So a TFR is basically a temporary flight restriction. Uh, it's a, basically a temporary don't fly in this area restriction zone. So this is a space TFR on uh, on Twitter, on X. Bronzeville SpaceX Starship Facility temporary restriction Sunday, November 19th. We only had Friday and Saturday before. And this is from early in the morning until um in the afternoon and here's the official tfr which is basically the same one as for friday and saturday just they just changed the day to sunday on the tfr so that's one of the newer things that i didn't see in the last uh, last 24 hours and that happened last night so um friday saturday or sunday uh, we thought maybe they were going to not do it on sunday uh, possibly because they have a an agreement with the cameron county uh, Sheriff's Department and the whole Cameron County, actually, because the, the uh, beach is a public beach. And sometimes on the weekends, people want to hang out at the beach. And SpaceX usually doesn't do things like this on a weekend unless it's something really big. If they're going to be doing some testing, it's usually Thursday, Friday. And then on the weekend, they kind of slow down a little bit. They might do it on a Saturday, but probably not on a Sunday. But this one is a little bit different. This is a Sunday TFR. And you can see the flight restriction goes out over the Gulf of Mexico from Boca Chica Beach there. And of course, SpaceX says a second test flight of fully integrated Starship is set to launch on Friday, November 17th. A two hour launch window opens at 7 o'clock a.m. So 7 o'clock a.m. CT until 9 o'clock a.m. CT. So if it's after that, um, they just have a two hour launch window. That's it. That's it. And if they can't meet that window, they're just going to shut it down until the next day, which will be Saturday. And then after that, it'll be Sunday. So they have three TFRs in place. It's ready to go. They have a flight license, so they're ready to go. Um, SpaceX posted this on their X account. Starship stack for flight. This is another chance to put Starship in a true flight environment, maximizing how much we learn. And that's the key thing here. This is just the second flight of the Starship. The first one went I mean, as good as it could go, it cleared the tower because if it didn't clear the tower, there would have been some monumental damage to that thing and that would have taken them months to rebuild. Uh, rapid iterative development is essential as we work to build a fully reusable launch system capable of taking humans and stuff to Mars, basically. But they have some really beautiful shots here. As you can see, the, the sun rays coming through as they're stacking the starship on top of the booster and... Um, it's just not amazing shots and there's people in this next one. It's really cool. It makes it really human. Um, you know, like, Hey, uh, this person down here in the bottom right is like, Hey, look at that giant rocket. <laughs> and the other people are just like, if you've never been there, uh, it's, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like, this thing is coming from the heavens in these photos. It's absolutely a stunning photography. And, uh, here we go. We have some road closures uh, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We had these closures yesterday. And here's the, the actual closure by the uh, county. Uh, Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino has ordered a temporary closure of access to Boca Chica Beach, which is Highway 4 from far away all the way down to the beach, which is right on the Gulf of Mexico. Order the closure of the beach to protecting public from space flight activities, which... Of course, uh, that's what SpaceX is going to be doing. They're going to try to launch this thing for a orbital-ish um, launch to Hawaii, basically. So it'll be about a 90-minute flight from Boca Chica Starbase, Texas, all the way to off the coast of Kauai in a uh, in a naval graveyard out there. So, 
going to try to land the starship too. Uh, they're going to be doing a soft landing and it shows this in the, um, in this infographic, or I'm sorry, not a, it's going to be doing a belly flopper belly. What is it called? The belly flop, a belly smacker. There we go. It's going to be doing a belly smacker. Uh, you can't really see it under my head. Um, but maybe I can get this. Uh, I can't really show it to you. Um, but it's doing a belly smacker. Oh, there we go. Kind of see that into the Gulf. So they're probably not going to recover it. If they do recover it, it's just going to be like pieces, you know, it's going to pretty much break up on impact and the FAA. And this is uh, yesterday, November 15th. This is the flight license, the FAA flight license, uh, given license authorization for the second launch of the Starship Super Heavy. And here's a rundown of it all. This is the whole license right here. It's a, a revised license from the last time. Um, the revision history, April 14th, 2023, original issuance, and then November 15th. These are the new things. Um, that they added or subtracted, removed concurrently from paragraph two, replace Space Exploration Technologies Corps uh, Corp with Starship Super Heavy in paragraph three. Because it's just tech, it's just minor things that they did. Change paragraph first flight to orbital test flight two uh, mission. Additional measure SpaceX must comply with the conditions in November 15th. So we're going to skip over this as it's pretty bureaucratic and almost boring. Um, but basically saying it's super exciting because they do get this license, but there are some important things that the FAA uh, did a statement about. FAA has given license authorization uh, for the second launch of the Starship Super Heavy Vehicle. Background, the FAA is responsible for regulating U.S. Uh, commercial space transportation industry. The license applies to all phases of the proposed operation. This includes pre-flight preparations and liftoff from Texas. The water landing of the super heavy booster, which it's going to land. It's going to try to do a soft touchdown in the Gulf of Mexico, which is absolutely bonkers at this point because th this thing, it blew up the first time. So if they can get this to land on the second try in the Gulf of Mexico, this is going to propel them forward super fast. Um, so, and then in a water landing of the Starship vehicle in the Pacific Ocean north of Hawaii. So that's the belly smacker, I guess. And after consultation with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, this is the part where everyone was like, it's going to take six months, including myself. I was like, I don't know when this is going to happen. Nobody really knew. Um, in a written evaluation of the 2022 programmatic environmental assessment, the FAA concluded no significant environmental changes. So uh, basically the FAA and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service came to the conclusion that anything from, uh, from the water deluge system that's shooting up into the air, uh, it's not going to cause anything more than like a, a, just a regular rainfall. So it'd just be like once... Every once in a while, there's good, it's like a random rainstorm. It doesn't change anything in the uh, in the Gulf there. It doesn't change anything with the surrounding environment or the sur surrounding population of uh, endangered species. Uh, SpaceX applied for and received authorization for one launch. So there we go. And then there's another part. SpaceX is targeting November 17th for the second integrated test flight uh, from Starbase Cameron County, Texas. 120-minute test window opens at 7 a.m. So they do have uh, two hours for this test window. And this is this is a, a different part that we're normally not used or we're not used to seeing during these uh releases, but residents of Cameron County and those in the nearby area, may hear a loud noise resulting from the rocket's 33 Raptor engines firing upon ignition. And as the, as the vehicle launches towards space, but what people experience will depend on weather and other conditions. So, um, they're basically saying, Hey, anybody nearby, uh, you might want to just hunker down and wear some earplugs if you have um, if you have issues with your hearing or if you have sensitive ears or something, there's going to be a loud noise. And that's what happens when a rocket launches. All the thrust from those 33 Raptor engines just shoot down into the ground. And there is noise suppression in the um, in the water deluge system. So it'll it'll dampen some of the sound. But it is a big rumble. I mean, even for a Falcon 9, you can feel it miles away. Like you can feel it in your chest miles away. So if you're, you know, something that's... <laughs> <laughs> 9, 18, 20, like three times plus uh, more engines and more powerful engines too. Like it's going to be loud and it's going to shake your soul out of you <laughs> if, if you're too close. So wear your ear protection if you have sensitive ears. So that was uh, some of the things that I want to show you before the test flight, which will be happening on Friday, 7 a.m. Uh, CT, and it'll be going from Starbase, Boca Chica, Texas. Um, the 
boost back burn. Another cool thing that I want to show you real quick too. Um, main engine cutoff is usually the term that they use when the first um, the first stage stops their engines. And this one, it's called Miko. And this one at two minutes and 39 seconds after takeoff. Let me see if we can get this bigger for you. Most engines cut off. So we're not sure how many engines are going to be cutting off during this time, but it's going to be exciting no matter what. And that happens right after like a minute and some odd seconds, a minute and a half after um, Max-Q, my favorite part of any launch. So hot staging is another cool thing that's going to be happening right after that. So 239, most engines cut off from the booster. And then right after that hot staging, the Starship Raptor ignition and the stage separation happens. This is going to be such a cool thing. I cannot wait for hot staging. It's going to be so cool. Um, hopefully it doesn't incinerate the booster when it does it. And I, I'm pretty sure SpaceX has figured out the dynamics for that. But we're going to see. It's going to be exciting. I'm so excited for this. So join me here um, tomorrow morning for a uh, a party. We're going to have a party for the launch and uh, yeah, Friday morning, let's get at it. It's gonna be so fun. So we have, I'm gonna link down below and I'm gonna put the video, the, the live stream over here if I can. I don't know if I can put live streams like over here in this little video over here, uh, which I'm going to put over here that way. Uh, but yeah, check out the live stream. I'll put a link in the description and also first comment and then maybe over there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. And while you're down there, just hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment uh, if you want to. And leave an emoji if you don't have anything that you really want to say. Uh, just leave an emoji. It helps the algorithm. and helps me out a little bit. So thank you so much, everybody. And I will see you for the party for the Starship IFT2 launch. All right. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.